In this lecture, we're going to be talk about the working of PVDG hybrid system. Basically, as we know that to run a requisite load of the consumer, let's say any factory that we have considered over here, who is consuming the requisite load of the 100 kilowatt over here. So this particular load has been covered by the diesel generator set, solar panel and the grid also. Then how this overall thing will going to be coordinated over here that we're going to understand first. And then from that exactly we understood that how the overall system will going to work then. So let's say initially when we consider there is a three part of the system will be available. One is the grid generator and the panel. Initially generator is not been the working condition and grid is providing the power because to run the solar panel and the solar plant actually we require the reference voltage. Rather this reference voltage will be given from the DG set from the batteries rather we can give from the grid also. This kind of the reference voltage once it is got thereafter the solar inverter will start generating the power and supplying to the requisite requirement. As good as the grid is supplying the power initially the 100 kilowatt of the requirement of the consumer will be given by the grid only this power it will going to go on the grid load side of 100 kilowatt and further power also will go to this particular inverter as soon as the inverter we try to synchronize this particular reference voltage it will going to start producing the power so let's say the inverter what we are considering over here it is of 70 kilowatt or the solar power plant size will be of 70 kilowatt this particular system will going to start initially this solar power plant will going to give the power to the load load is having the overall requirement of the 100 kilowatt so out of the 100 kilowatt 70 kilowatt will be given by the solar panels or the solar inverter and the rest of the 30 kilowatt will be supplied by the grid initially so basically at the start of this particular system let's say in the early morning when we talk when the company or the industry requires a 100 kilowatt of an power 100 percent power has been given by the grid only but as soon as the sunshine hours are started, let's say in the morning situation over there and the inverter is getting the reference voltage, the solar system will going to start generating the power like this. And this 70 kilowatt of the solar system will going to give the 70 kilowatt to the load and the rest of the 30 kilowatt has been bifurcated or taken from the grid side like this. And this 30 plus 70, 100 kilowatt satisfaction will be given for the load requirement of the consumer. So in that particular case, the DG set is not working over here because grid is giving the reference voltage. Now the condition is happening that the grid failure is happening due to them any kind of the maintenance in that particular area. So there is a zero kilowatt has been given by the grid. So whatever the automatic transfer switch or the changeover switch will be there, it will going to transfer its switching towards the generator because now generator will going to start and give the reference voltage and give the initial power for the load requirement. So as soon as the grid will going to stop working over here, the reference voltage also will going to stop and that is why the overall generation from the solar inverter and the panel will also going to stop but the consumer requires the load of the 100 kilowatt continuously and that is why the switch will going to transfer to the generator now the generator will going to on initially whatever till the reference voltage is not getting to the panel till that the 100 kilowatt of the load will be given by the inverter only as soon as the inverter will go, uh, generator will going to start from this, this generator will give initial supply to the 100 kilowatt to the load requirement and then give the reference voltage to the solar panel. As good as the solar panel senses the reference voltage has been given by this particular diesel generator, it will going to start generating the solar power. As soon as it is start generating the solar power, the 70 kilowatt will be given to the load requirement and the rest of the 30 kilowatt is supplied by the diesel generator. Unlike that the diesel generator is of 30 kilowatt supply power and this is of 70 kilowatt, total 100 kilowatt load will be supplied or the electricity requirement will be supplied to the consumer requirement. So in this particular such a way when we say exactly how the diesel and the DG and grid will going to be synchronized in this particular manner. So the role of automatic transfer switch when we see actually in the nominal diesel generator set also whenever there is no any solar power has been involved. So automatically the diesel generator will going to start due to this automatic transfer switch. Actually it going to sense the amount of the reference voltage from the grid. Once it is absent it will going to start the generator from this particular side.
now we're going to be see the second case in the working of PVDG hybrid system. As good as we are increasing the inverter size. In the last case, what we have seen the 70 kilowatt size was there for the inverter and the rest of the 30 kilowatt has been given by the generator. And that is why 30 plus 70, 100 kilowatt has been given to the end user for their requisite requirement. As good as we are increasing the load or size of the solar power plant, let's say it is a 150 kilowatt now. So initially, whenever there is an early morning situation or non-sunshine hours, the grid will go into supply the power to this particular load. So initially, the 100 kilowatt will be given by the grid only to the particular consumer. And simultaneously, the reference voltage has been given to the solar power plant also. In the sunny days, in the particular sunshine hours, as good as the solar power plant will going to start generating, it got the reference voltage, then it will going to produce the 150 kilowatt of an power. As good as it is producing the 150 kilowatt of an power, it will going to give the 100 kilowatt which is required for the consumer for their specific requirement and 50 kilowatt will be given to the grid over here like that. So basically the requisite power for the load requirement of the consumer, it has been absorbed by the load of the consumer and the rest of the excess power will be absorbed by the grid actually. So basically here, the bi-directional meter has been connected. So whatever amount of the power we are sending to the grid and whatever amount of electricity power we are importing from the grid, both readings has been recorded over here. And simultaneously, the electricity billing is happening for such kind of the cases. So basically, the grid is the infinite grid is there. And that is why how much amount of the power that we are sending actually, it will be absorbed by the grid. And later, another consumer will going to utilize this kind of the 50 kilowatt capacity. But as soon as there is a failure of the grid is happening over here. So initially, the reference voltage will stop supplying to this particular solar power plant. So in, immediately, the changeover switch, switch will going to be transferred towards the DG set. And the DG set will going to be start over here now. And as good as this particular generator will go into start, he will going to be sense the requisite amount of an power which is required by the consumer. And according to that, the 100 kilowatt will be supplied initially to the load. And simultaneously, the reference voltage is also given to the solar inverter also. As good as the solar inverter is getting the reference voltage, it will start producing its power of 150 kilowatt. In that case, he will going to give the 100 kilowatt of an power to the load requirement as per their consumption and the remaining 50 kilowatt of an power will be given to the DG set over here. As good as the diesel generator is doesn't have any kind of a mechanism to accept the power from the external mechanism. And that is why immediately the diesel generator will going to trip its power basically. It will stop running this particular generator and the whole electricity supply will going to collapse over here. As soon as the electricity supply from the diesel generator will going to collapse, it will stop the reference voltage which is going to this particular inverter and the system will going to stop running over here. But the consumer in this case is required the load of 100 kilowatt. So that is why once again this particular uh, generator will going to be sensed over here that there is no amount of the power has been there and with automatic transfer switch automatically the inverter will going to start. As soon as the inverter will going to start, initially 100 kilowatt of an supply, it is giving to the load requirement of an consumer. And once again, it is given to the reference voltage to the inverter. Again, inverter, solar inverter will going to start 150 kilowatt of an power. Once again, he will give 100 kilowatt to the load requirement and 50 kilowatt to the generator over here. As good as the generator is getting the external 50 kilowatt of an power, immediately the invert uh, generator will going to trip over here and that is why this process will going to go on continuously and once again the generator will going to stop working over here this is called as the dg hunting and that is why the proper amount of the synchronization will be required whenever we are dealing with the solar power plant and the diesel generator hybrid system in such kind of the cases. Rather, the system will going to be collapse if any kind of the synchronization is not there between the generator and the solar power. Generally, as per the requirement, when we are taking or purchasing the generator, minimum 30% of the load we have to give to this particular generator based upon the how much KVA size that we have taken or purchased from the manufacturer. If this particular generator is not provided the 30 kilo 30 percentage of the load requirement of a consumer or minimal with that, it will going to have a various kinds of a difficult impact on the generator itself. 
it is not properly producing the power more amount of the fuel consumption might get happen and the uh, overall system in this particular generator will going to collapse due to the lower amount of the load or the dry running of this particular generator actually and that is why we require the proper amount of the synchronization system at the time of the working of pvdg hybrid system 